hello everyone and welcome to my channel we went on anthem of the seas with royal caribbean in august 2023 at the beginning you can see the itinerary um, and this is basically just a vlog of the first two days because the first day uh, we were just bought in and then the second day we were actually at sea so we headed off our check-in time was 12 o'clock i think um but we managed to get on the ship early because we saw autism of the seas at the entrance we didn't know about them um but we got speaking to the lady and she very kindly got us on early um so yeah as you just saw basically when you park your car you have the option to leave your luggage at the boot of your cars and their vans come around and collect your luggage and take it to your stateroom we went with two young children and as soon as we got on the cruise ship um, we couldn't basically wait to just start exploring getting our whereabouts even though by the end of the holiday we were still getting lost um, but we just went on a little explore whilst it was quiet um, and empty just to see where everything was um, this is 270 um, this is where you can basically get a little coffee you can chill out this is where they do activities um, like bingo you had some speeches so we got onto the cruise ship at about half past 10 thanks to autism of the seas and um, this was probably about midday by this point we were getting hungry so we decided to go and find the wind jammer Um, I managed to quickly sneak away and get to the solarium which is the adult only uh, section of the ship and it is absolutely gorgeous it's so stunning I wish we could have spent more time here um, really relaxing and it's at the front of the ship so the view that you get here is absolutely amazing um, and then I managed to find the bistro but it wasn't open so then we managed to find our stateroom where you can find your cards and you need these cards with you at all times because this is what you will get your drinks with and anything else on the ship. We went and did some more exploring. We found the draft and we found the kids club and it was just a picture just there of all the activities. So we headed to our staterooms. Uh, we was 12 to 09 so we was on the 12th floor and we was 209 um, and this is basically a room explore. It was a really spacious room bathroom or shower room toilet it was really really clean um quite modern everything was there that we needed basically towels flannels uh, soap toilet roll um the wardrobes again very spacious there was a wardrobe space above the bed too as you can see and we had an interior room so that basically means we've got a massive screen that live streams what is going on outside the ship showing you inside the wardrobe so you get an idea of the space that you've got you've got drawers as well underneath the wardrobe space um, and you've also got a chest of drawers on the other side of the room uh, that's the phone where you can basically contact um, guest services you can call other rooms um, and other people can call you to your room from the phones that you will find around the ship which is pretty cool um, this is me just showing you that the beds do split into two they are two single beds um, and they come with two sets of bedding but it was really comfortable actually and you couldn't feel like it was two single beds if that makes sense so in that wardrobe you get a safe that you activate yourself This is the air conditioning, this is how you basically turn it on or off, have it on auto, 
and how cold you want it. Um, it was really, really nice coming back to a nice cool room from being outdoors in the absolute sweating heat. And then this is the other side of the bedroom where you've got your television and you've got, like I said, chests of drawers and you've got a mini fridge in there. I didn't notice until the end of the holiday, but the round mirror has a ring light in it too. And it was really, really helpful when I was doing my makeup and my hair. Um, and yeah, as you can see behind the tumbler, you've got some plugs um, and some USB leads. So that's really handy. Um, yeah, this is the tumbler you get with the soda package. You could basically pick this up from any of the restaurants when you get on board. And this is the little wristband that my son got. He's six years old. And this basically um, tells you where to return him if he got lost on the cruise ship, which he didn't, thank God. Um, so yeah, this is just me showing you the drawer space. Um, you get a hairdryer in the room, uh, which is compatible with uh, plugs on, on board, which was really handy because I only took two adapters with me. So we just basically did more exploring on the first two days because we was on board and we was at sea. So we went and found bumper cars, we went and found the C-Plex. This is where you've got the Xbox, uh, you've got table tennis, you've got air hockey. All the activities in the C-Plex are available on the Royal Caribbean app so you can go on there and just see what activities there are on each day. The first day I think there was um, this clash of the Crystal City and it's laser tag. Um, and then after that, yeah, we just did some more exploring. This is the main outdoor swimming pool from the top deck. And on that screen, every day, there are films. There was Moana, like you can see there. Um, and I'm filming this because this is literally the bane of my life when we was on the ship. I could not suss what the banging was for literally the first two days and it was doing my head in. Then I realised, oh my god, it's the hangers. So if you're not using the hangers, take them out and put them in the drawer because they bang and they will wake you up. So we took the kids to the rock climbing. They really enjoyed it. And then this is the Flow Rider. We basically spent the rest of the day exploring the rest of the ship, finding nice little relaxing areas that we can go and chill and read the books um, and try to find the best place to sit and watch the views basically. So that's what we did. This is around the main outside swimming pool area. Now this bit here on the left that you just saw doesn't really get that busy but the sun beds, the sun loungers just here on this side, they were fairly busy most days and these ones here too around the swimming pool area and on the top deck were, yeah, they were fairly busy. Uh, we managed to get a few sun beds 
here and there in the mornings it was mostly busy and then people obviously disappear for lunch and then they come back and then people disappear for dinner again so we mostly took the children swimming after lunchtime because it was when it was less busy and it was a lot cooler as well so that's what we just did personally um and yeah this is the running track i have done a video of the whole running track so you can see all the way around the ship and this is the Cplex doghouse. Um, this is included in your inclusive package. They do um, hot dogs and they also have a refill drinks machine there. But yeah, this is coming to the end of our first full two days on Anthem of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. I just thought these videos would be cool to look back on and they're great for first time cruisers. We'd lived on YouTube before we went and tried to find some videos. Hope you enjoyed this content. Give it a like and subscribe if you Thank you for watching, see you next time.